This is how your command will be looking like after we're done with the episode. So you can select a random member from the server. You can right click and then you can select apps and press on that user info command that we created in this episode. And it should be looking something like this with an affirmal message that you can dismiss because you are the only one seeing this message. So let's go ahead and start out. Alright, so because uh, context menus function almost uh, the same as the, a normal command interaction, we're gonna use or utilize our interaction create the uh, .js file. So let's go to the events interaction folder to the interaction create. So we're gonna be utilizing the same handler as this one. We'll just add a statement. So if we go into this tenth line, we'll make a space after the is command and the rounded brackets, and he will type interaction. Uh, dot is contest menu with this rounded brackets and between two of these will add this or statement so if interaction is command or if the interaction is context menu will run this exact same code so it's it's a pretty simple the only big difference between the context menu and the uh, command uh, is um, you cannot use a description uh, you cannot use options and uh, etc so let's go ahead to our commands folder to our utilities category and we'll create a new file we call it userinfo.js it's gonna be the same as our previous one but modified a little bit uh, to fit for the future of the bot so what we're gonna do here we're gonna require a couple of objects from the discord.js package so let's open this round uh, or curly brackets and require discord and don't forget your semicolons they're required but most of the time uh, they really are required so um, let's say uh, grab the context menu interaction and the message embed you see here we require the context menu interaction not the command uh, interaction like we use in uh, different kinds of uh, commands all right so we're gonna model dot exports and here the name of the command is gonna be user info and here we can set the type of it to be user because it's um, I'm gonna show you the different types here we have uh, three different types of uh, application command uh, message for example if we go to our discord and uh, we send a message and here we can right click on it and if there is a bot uh, in your discord server that uh, has that app uh, function then you will be able uh, like a rhythm or um, i think ruby for example had that option where you can add a song to queue by right clicking on the message and click on, on add to queue and the user is the one where you click on the actual uh, member and the app will pop up like we saw in the first uh, seconds of the video so uh, in here the type will select user because it's a user command and under here we can use the permissions uh, it takes the same permission handling as our normal command so let's set the permissions for example so permission administrator just for example all right and here now we're gonna uh, execute or async execute like we normally do let's remove this line it's auto completes for some reason and what we're gonna execute is the interaction and we'll open a code block but now here we'll grab our parameters with it, which is command interaction for the interaction all right now to get the actual target member so if i clicked right click on here and got and they wanted to do an application or a command on that user uh, and in our normal way of getting the target uh, it should be let's go to our, our moderation for example it should be we're gonna get the target from an option but here we don't have an option really so here we're gonna type const target or let's do it in, ca in lowercase letter equal to await here we're gonna await that's why we used asynchronous we're gonna interaction dot guild uh, members so we're gonna fetch the members so members dot fetch and here we'll pass in interaction dot target id so what we're getting from this context menu is the target id which we are fetching from the interaction guild it's pretty simple now here we're gonna we're gonna construct our message embed. So we're gonna type const response equal to let's scroll up equals to new message embed. We can set the, set the color to be whatever you want. Let's set it to be aqua. 
Now for uh, the author, let's set the author. It's gonna be the target dot user dot tag, for example, and we'll set the small picture next to the author to be the author's or the target's uh, profile picture. So target dot user dot icon. See here, no, it's avatar URL. We set it to be dynamic, set to true, and the size will be whatever. Let's set it to be 500. It's required now for, for some reason to set the, the, the size of it. So either way, we're gonna set the thumbnail to be also the profile picture. So set thumbnail. And here we can just copy this line over here and paste it inside. We're gonna go down one more line and here we're gonna add a field. And the first field is gonna be the target ID. So ID is gonna be the Let's see here target.user.id or you can take target.id it doesn't matter it's up to you i like to use the user and get the id from the user option it's, it's my personal preference and now here we're gonna set it to true to be in line all right so now we're gonna go down and we're gonna add one more field we're gonna add uh, more fields later on but uh, now for the role, so we can display the roles of that member. We're gonna map them, so target dot roles dot cache, and here we'll map each role by role. So role, role, and then we're gonna join the roles with a space, and then we're gonna replace a role that's called everyone. So basically, with Discord, let's go to our Discord server roles. Uh, we'll see this everyone role everybody in the server has it but we want to remove it because it's not necessary to replace it because everybody ha has it so replace we're gonna replace at everyone with an empty space all right it's pretty simple and now uh, it's gonna give you an error if you replace the at everyone role and that member that you tried the, the command on doesn't have any role so it's gonna send you an error so here we're gonna type or none so if we didn't find any role uh, except at everyone we gonna basically say none that the user or the member has no roles and by the way we can remove the true from here because we're not gonna be using it uh, with the rest of the fields so we're gonna create another field and the name of it's gonna be member sense so here we'll set basically whatever whenever the member join the server so um, it's gonna be formatted with the discord is new formatting or time formatting so this bracket t and then here we place parsent target dot joined at timestamp sorry join timestamp and we're gonna divide it with 1000 so the reason we're using sorry let's use the other slash not this one uh, so parsent is gonna basically round the number so we don't get uh, decimals and we are dividing it because this is this returns uh, a number in milliseconds uh, thank you spike mike for annoying me uh, all right, so we're gonna end this format. So uh, let's put an R and this bracket, and now true. Um, yeah, and for the last one, uh, let's copy this line over here and change the member sense to be Discord user sense. And instead of the target dot join timestamp, we can type user target dot user, and here created timestamp and. Uh, we should be good to go now we're gonna go down one more line and type interaction or you can we can return whatever you want you can return if you want to do you if you don't want whatever interaction reply the embeds we're gonna pass in the response embed and we're gonna make the command ephemeral it's pretty weird to check people's user info you know with them seeing them on all right so let's try this out uh, we'll restart our bot Note this, but all right, so we got no errors. So let's go to Discord now. If you right click on somebody's name, for example, this one, we can go to the apps user info, and like you see here, it will display that user's info in an affirmative message. Now, if I remove the rule that I uh, that gives me the administrator permission and I try the command again, you can see that it's faded out, and I can't use it because I'm missing that command. So let me give myself that rule again and try it out again and like you see we have it here. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope to see you in the next episode.